This video is going to help ensure that I bring the correct water heater to your home to replace the one that's currently leaking. The first thing that we want to look at is what is the capacity, what is the amount of volume of water that the water heater will hold. Most residential water heaters are 40 gallons. You'll see right above the temperature control knob is a plate with about 8th inch tall letters, it'll say like model, serial number, but it'll have capacity or CAP US gallons. It'll say 40. On occasion there's a different number and that's helpful to know. The second thing that's also extremely important is what is the height from the top of the cylinder to the bottom of the vent. Most water heaters that I run into are gas fired so they have a metal vent at the top and we want to know the distance between the top of the water heater here and the bottom of where the vent goes horizontal. The next aspect is what is the gap between the water heater and other objects that cannot be moved like a wall or a furnace or something like that. If it is very narrow, if the gap is narrow on both sides of the water heater or three sides, then we have to be very careful about the overall diameter, this dimension of the water heater so I can bring in one that fits your space. Oftentimes there's only a small gap on one side of the water heater and therefore it could be moved out in a way because there's a lot of space on the other side of the water heater or side to side. The next thing that's important to know is what's the overall height of the water heater, the height of just the cylinder itself in inches. All of these measurements should be in inches. These are the most critical aspects that I need to know. On a related check sheet on the website, you can fill in this information and either fax that form back to me, you could email it to me, or you could give me the information over the phone.